Hi everybody, this is Michael from our Epic RV Adventure, and today I want to talk to you about security in your RV, especially when you're on the road, and something that can help give you peace of mind when you're away from your rig, or even when you're in your RV in a place that you may not be very comfortable in, is the ring doorbell. The ring doorbell is a very feature-rich device that offers video and two-way audio, so you can answer this doorbell on on your cell phone and also talk to whoever's there. It also has a nice feature of having a motion detection set up where, where you can from any distance you choose if somebody comes in within that distance it'll automatically start recording and send you an alert so you can see what's going on. You can activate the uh, audio feature at that point and talk to whoever's too close to your RV for your comfort. So again, one thing this is definitely going to need is a constant internet connection for it to work. Without that, it is just a regular doorbell. And I have another video I've made about getting constant internet access into your RV. And I'll have a link to that in the description below. So, what's in the box? I bought this from Amazon. Ring did not provide this to me. They're not endorsing this in any way. Um, this, I actually bought a refurbished. This is the Ring doorbell. Um, it's a refurb. So, I can't remember the exact price. I'll put that down in the description as well. But here we go. It is. Comes with the doorbell. The mounting plate. This box has the installation tools in it that they use to mount the doorbell to the mounting plate. Okay, so the way this works is you'll, once this is mounted outside of the motorhome, you'll take this, mount it on here, and there's two set screws at the bottom to hold this in place. So when you go to leave camp, break camp, you'll just loosen those set screws up, take this out, and put this inside your RV. Now this will be a checklist item. You definitely want to don't leave, want to leave this on your door. It is kind of heavy because it has a battery. It's battery powered, um, so it may or may not fall off. But why risk it? Uh, because it is battery powered. It does come with a USB, uh, so a very short USB connector, so you can charge the battery. So my recommendation is, you take this off, and you plug it in. You plug it into a USB outlet and charge it while you're in transit. It also comes with a drill bit that we are not going to use. We are not drilling holes for this particular installation. What we're going to do is we're going to use some good um, 3M double-sided tape to mount this onto our door. So the next thing that comes in the box is Say Hello to Rain. It is the instruction guide <coughs> and also you have a sticker if you want to put that on your window. It's real simple to get started. Um, if you don't already have uh, a ring device in your home, if you have a sticks and bricks home, you want to go ahead and download the ring app. Uh, it's available for both Android and um, iOS devices. And then you just follow the steps in here. Go ahead and charge this up. So we'll go ahead and take this cable out. And it just uses a micro USB. So if you have a micro USB, which I do right here, I can just go ahead and, and plug this in and charge this up. So now we're charging. And once it, we got a good charge on this, I can go into the Ring app and we will get it set up. Okay, so I've already logged into the Ring app. So I go up to choose uh, Add a Device. Click the plus sign there at the bottom right corner. Pick the drive of device, which would be a doorbell. I scan the doorbell. Follow the directions. Really, really simple. As we move along here, hit next. Here we keep going. I give it a good name. This is for the RV. I'll name it RV. Hit next. Hit that button. Again, Ring makes it really simple. We just follow the video directions. You can also do this while you're charging your device as well.
Here we're almost done. Awesome, there we go, we're finished. We're connecting it to the internal uh, Wi-Fi network. Just select which one you wanna connect to. Give it a few seconds, you're connecting. The first thing it does, once it does get connected, it will um, download any um, firmware software updates that it may need. The firmware download could take a couple of minutes depending on your internet connection speed and the size of the update they need. I would recommend you can go ahead and do this piece that we've got to at this point at really any time. Um, you can actually do this you know, from the comfort of your own home, sitting in a chair, nighttime, daytime, it doesn't matter. Uh, the only thing that really does matter here is that once you do get this done, Make sure you got decent weather outside to actually do the external hookup piece, but you don't need to hook up the mounting bracket, obviously, outside before doing this part here. So this part can be done anytime you want, uh, well in advance of when you do the actual install. Now we're going to verify that our installation went okay. We got everything set up right, so we'll do this internet connection test. Run through that. Very simple, very fast. Uh, make sure we are. We do have that good connection to the internet because without that, again, this is just a doorbell. And then once this is completed, um, we'll see the success button. We hit next and we'll go into actually setting up the configuration of the motion sensor. And here you can just set it up however you like. Just follow the directions and the on-screen prompts. You can always go back and change this really easy. So don't think you're just going to be stuck with whatever you select here. So pick the ones that work for you and I change these frequently because depending on where I'm at I may want to have a further away um, sensor or a closer up sensor so it just depends set it up however you want you probably have to play with it to, to get it to where you really want it and then that's it save it and it's time to go outside okay now it's time to mount the mounting bracket for the ring doorbell and for the purposes of this, I went ahead and closed my slide right here to make sure that I had a good mounting spot for it that wouldn't be instructive in any way. And unfortunately, for this rig, I have a um, Tiffin um, 34PA. I can't put it here, which is where I'd want to put it, because the slide's right here and then the bracket for the door. So it can't sit flush there, and you, and you cannot make this any smaller and I don't want to put it here obviously on the slide out because if I put it on the slide out then when the slide is out the doorbell will be out here and I really want it on the door so unfortunately for me at least for now I'm going to mount it right here and that's the only spot I have so to mount it I'm going to use some 3M automotive uh, attachment tape it's very strong this is stuff I use to put like molding and stuff like that on a car. I'm going to put a couple of strips of it on here. And I know you can't see this, but trust me, I'm going to cut it to the right size. And there's one strip. And we'll put another one on here the same fashion and for this, you really want good strong tape to hold it but you don't want tape that can't come off easily too if you want to move this or just get rid of it all together for whatever reason you don't want something that damages your paint and that's why I went with the 3M Auto Advance I don't have a link to this on but I got it off of Amazon the instructions are really simple um, there's no wait time or anything like that um, for it to cure um, but I would recommend once you put this on wait 24 hours for you put any load on it or try to go down the road so I've got this on pretty good and now we're going to go ahead and mount it and I'm thinking I'm just going to put it right there make sure when you do mount this that the word ring is actually readable and not upside down because if you do put it upside down then it won't work um, these little control circuits here don't worry about those that's if you're actually wiring this into a real to a regular doorbell you're not using these 
what I'm actually going to do later is I'm just going to paint those black and I may actually get some paint at some other point in time down the road um, similar to this gray silver color here to paint this so it just blends in a little bit more when the ring doorbell is not on there just going down the road to look be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing but you know obviously that's not something you have to do so now the fun part for me is to actually get the back off of this tape which always seems to be a struggle for me and while I'm getting this tape off one thing to keep in mind like I said this is a rechargeable battery so just make sure when you are going down the road that you do recharge it <clears throat> okay once we get the tape on we'll pull these things off and we'll go to mount this bad boy again like I said make sure connectors up the word ring is up so we're gonna set this right here and we're just gonna press that on and that's it it's installed again you got the two set screws here at the bottom so this mounts on here like this And just tighten up those set screws and that's it you're done test it out works so with the app you'll have um, it also gives you battery indication um, right now this battery is at 88 percent and I charged it about two weeks ago uh, but it's just been sitting on the table it hasn't been doing much motion sensing or anything like that so I'm not sure about how long the battery is actually going to last in a regular situ world situation, but it's here now. It works, and if um, I well, almost positive that the Ring app will give you a um, warning when you have a battery low indication. So my recommendation is just keep an eye on that um, when you first use it to make sure that your battery is still good. And again, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you're going once you travel, you'll just undo the set screws, pull this up, and not sure why all of them but one want to come out. But they do. There we go. <laughs> just take this out, plug it into a charger, micro USB port on the back. That way it's charged when you get to your next destination. And that's it for a ring doorbell. Love it. Works great. Highly recommend it. Um, we're going to be installing some security cameras on the on the rear of the coach and on the opposite side as well. Um, for right now, my dash cam that I use uh, is actually set to um, what's called park mode. So if something shakes the front of the rig, it'll turn on and start recording. So the only thing about that is, yes, it will record, but it doesn't send a message or give you any type of warning. So um, that's just after the fact, you'll see that. So um, we're going to have everything um, secured as best we can. And so if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Give me a comment if you have any questions um, or suggestions on how we can do these videos better. Or if you have any suggestions about security cameras, because I'm actually in the market trying to figure out what I want to do with those. Don't want to spend a ton of money on them. Um, try to keep things as low cost as possible. So give us that thumbs up. Give us a comment. Um, if you really like what you see, you want to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe and hit that bell so you'll need notified when our next video comes up. So thanks for watching, everybody.